Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing another Vault City. This is the Raspberry White Chocolate Honeycomb and Imperial um, Imperial Stout at 12%. It says all that right at the front. This is a, another beer to celebrate um, Vault City's third birthday. Um, little balloon. Uh, pardon me. Um, if you watched the last video, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm hoping I put it up correct. Uh, that's the one I've just done, the Raspberry White Chocolate and Honeycomb Sour. This is the Stout. Um, I was going to do a sort of mixture of the two, but um, I've kind of drunk it. Uh, I, it was nice, uh, but watch that. I was going to do a, a blend of the two, because a lot of brewers have seemed to be doing sour and stout versions of the same beer, um, and you can mix the two. Uh, Vocation did it with the Morello Cherries. Um... They did a second one, the Imperial Vanilla and the Imperial Maple. They, you weren't meant to mix that one, but I did because I was curious. I think this one can be mixed. I'm not sure. Um, like I say, I, I'm not be I'm not able to now. It's empty, but I'm assuming you can. Um, it's a two percent difference on alcohol, but it's the same flavors. It's an Imperial Stout and sour. Um, this is one that I picked up from Priest Town Brewing in Preston for £8, so it's quite hefty on price, as well as the old percentage. Um, and it says... It's... Okay, if you've not watched the last one, I'll read that up for you. But if you have watched the last video, um, you can skip ahead. It says, as it's our birthday, we wanted to release something pretty special. Well, two things, actually. We came up with a recipe based around our ideal birthday cake, raspberries, white chocolate, and honeycomb. These flavours sounded like the perfect combination to treat ourselves to an extra silly sour, but the birthday, uh, but the cake-like combination sounded just as fit for an imperial stout as it did for a modern sour beer. Uh, so we did both. Um, our birthday cake is a is in a dark, a big dark beer. Does it say something different? Oh yeah, it did. I didn't read that last bit last time. It's the same writing. It's just that last line. The sour says our birthday cake is in a big bold sour. Um, big dark beer for this one. Um, this is one I've really been looking forward to. I like... I think it's a good combination. So, um, with all that said... I have got myself a glass. Hold on. Can't do it without a glass. So, with all that said, let's crack it open, shall we? There's the top. Um, and see what we've got. Looks lovely. I can smell it from here. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but Vault City are pretty much one of the masters of sour beer. Every Vault City I've done has been a sour. I've never done a, a Vault City that is an IPA, um, a stout, a pale, anything. It's always been a sour. So this is the first stout that I'm aware of from Vault City. And it's the first one on the channel and all that. I think that looks lovely. Pardon me. Pitch black. No light getting through at all. Very nice tanned head. Very compact bubbles. A uh, few loose ones, soapy-like, but quite compact around. It looks the business. Um, so let's get a smell, shall we? See what we get. Oh, God. Oh, oh this is going to be good. So, I'm going to get the Imperial Stout stuff out of the way. You've got your roasted malts. You've got your dark chocolate. Um, typical Stout, Imperial Stout stuff. Malts, chocolate, that kind of stuff. Honeycomb. Very predominant in the flavor, in the smell. It's sweet, very, very sweet. White chocolate, raspberries are there as well, but not as strong as the rest. But they're there. You can smell, you can smell the dark roasted bitter part of the stout, and then the really, really sweet bit like the honeycomb and the white chocolate. It smells lovely. 
Let's get a mouthful of body and carb, shall we? Carbonation is almost non existent. It's so fine. Body. It's about a medium um, around that ballpark. It's kind of, it's not light. It's not light medium, but it's not medium. It's really close to medium. Um, like I said, um, I'm not sure they do stouts often. If this is the first one, I'm, I'm so far impressed. Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. Tell you what, tell you something that is very, very good. Um, so it's a roller coaster of flavor, it really is. So, you've got what I started off with dark chocolate, roasted malts, bitter flavors. Uh, then, you've got honeycomb and white chocolate, and it came back down with the 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 dark chocolate and the roasted malt and went back up with raspberries and white chocolate and honey it's doing that it's doing a roller coaster of flavor it's flicking between dark and sweet it's it can't decide what it wants to be but it keeps it going it's got this also really really sticky sort of way about it oh, that's, that's brilliant Burnt sugar, honeycomb, dark chocolate, roasted malts. White chocolate, raspberry, a little bit of lactose, sort of like a yogurt-y. It's not as, not as much as the sour was, but it's still got that sort of way about it. That is... Oh, it's something else. That is very, very, very good. I'm very impressed with what I think is the first stout. So, I'm going to go away and enjoy this, because 12% should not be drank on camera that fast. It should be enjoyed, savoured. It's one of them. It's a double digit. It needs to be taking time. So, Vault City's Raspberry White Chocolate Honeycomb Imperial Stout 12%. Out of 10, I think... That is a 9. The only reason it's not a 10 is because I think thicker body, personally, would have been brilliant. Just a really thick, creamy body. Velvety, smooth. It's smooth, don't get me wrong. It's just not thick. Um, I think the body of the sour would have been better for this one because that one was more yogurty and yogurt drink and like an, like an Activia or something like that. It's just, it was thick. But this one's slightly thinner. Anyway, it's still a lovely, lovely beer. Flavours are brilliant. So, if you have had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think, if you like it, if you don't. Um, if you've not had it, like I said, I got mine from Priestown in Preston for eight whole English pounds. Um, I think that was worth it. Um, I'll leave the Vault City website down below, though. Um, they're from Edin Edinburgh. They're in Scotland. Yeah, they're from Edinburgh. I thought it was. Um, up in Scotland, so you might be waiting a few days for delivery, but it's definitely worth it. I would like to point out, um, I didn't do this in the last one, bottle art, for that's the sour, is nice, light colours, lovely, stout's all nice and dark, and you can see the difference. It's just little details, I like them. Anyway, yeah. Usual stuff, links, everything. If you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff, if you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth, and I'll see you later.